Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was sitting here and I had started harvesting um, this book and I figured why not just do it with you guys. So first, my name is Betty, which I'm sure most of you know. I am the owner and creator of Betty's Custom Design here on YouTube, Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram. And so this was one of the books that I picked up from that library sale um, the other day. And so, I, like I said, I had already started harvesting it. Um, this was the um, pages from the front and the back of the um, book. And I've already pulled those out. They're beautiful pages. I don't know if you can see the, um, the pattern in them. They're um, textured. And so this book was perfect because the spine just pulled right off. And then there are so many little um, signatures in here. And so I've already kind of separated a lot of them. Now I will probably end up using this and make myself um, an ephemera holder because this is just, it's gorgeous. I mean, it is beautiful, it's stunning, but it's too big for an actual journal but it will not go to waste. So, and I've already got these pages all out of order because like I said, I had already started um, going through here when I realized it's silly for me to do that when, you know, this is something I could do with you guys. So, um, as you can see, like this is one signature here so I'm just going to, and you can see there's so many images in here. And I don't know um, if I will actually just do anything or just mainly um, get the signatures apart today in this video, I'm not sure. But you can see just, you know, from going through here, there's so, look at this. This book is, perfect for um, ephemera and I love 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 it we may have to make some oh wow make a beautiful big um, tag or huge journaling card we may end up having to do some of that today I don't know look at all of these images these are just so beautiful and so I'm just looking at the signature on this so this back page was actually glued on from another signature. So I've got that off. And so now I just want to open. Oh, wow, look at this. So beautiful. See, this is crazy. The amount of ephemera that I am going to get out of this one book is just crazy. And so I'm just cutting the thread on the, um, on the inside of the signature here. Okay, and I'm just, I can't help myself, but I'm looking at the stuff as I go. That is just so pretty. Now to figure out what I wanna make with it. Oh, look at those. I need some more of these kind of books. Of course, with all of this, I am going to have plenty of ephemera for a long time. I have way more than I'll get done right now. Because I also um, had started harvesting that book that I done, um, I used to make some of the, I think it was a tag or something the other day. Um, I harvested quite a bit of it, and I'd only done just a few pages, and I had already filled up one of my little pizza boxes. So I set it to the side, and I have a feeling this is gonna be the same way. Look at that page. That is so pretty. Same with this one. And uh, let's see, okay, so that, we can go to the middle of the signature. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I am doing pretty good, just staying, you know, it's been crazy. Um, my ex-husband got put in the hospital yesterday with sepsis. Um, so I went up there after work today and, <clears throat> excuse me, I took him some 
uh, pajamas and underclothes and because he oh, wow look at that he didn't have any he was still wearing his uniform from work from yesterday um, so I took him some stuff up there so it's just been it's always something you know that's one thing when you have a large family and we have a very large family. Um, there's always something going on. Uh, so, all right, I'm just still working with these. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at all of the, uh, guys. Do y'all know how busy I am going to be? And how much fun I'm going to have with this. It's insane. How can they get so many beautiful images in one book? Wow. And then a while ago, I was like digging through it, the trash. Well, it wasn't the trash. It's, you know, because in the process of the remodel and stuff, we're, it's crazy around here. Um, we have a bunch of cardboard um, in one of the empty rooms, and so it's like all of the paper type stuff like that, and I was digging through there a while ago and pulled out a whole box of stuff that I can use for um, tag bases, which is going to be perfect for this. Look at this page. That is going to make a beautiful envelope. I already know what I'm doing with that page. I mean, there's... This is just going to be too much fun. And like I said, I had come in here and just sat down. I'm like, I need to get this done. And, um, you know, a lot of you have expressed you like to see the process. And... So I'm like, you know, that's stupid to be sitting there at my craft desk and not doing a video. So that's all I'm doing today. It's nothing great, no big fancy tutorial, no, nothing like that. It's just showing you what I do. And I don't know how many of you seen the little very short clip of um, my Zelda working um, last night. I'm filming this, it's Tuesday night. When I'm filming this, I think it will post on Thursday. But um, I did film a very brief video just kind of showing my little Zelda. I love my Zelda. Um, I had two, um, before I got her, I had two brother um, PE-800s, and um, they were named Bertha and Betsy. And back, you know, when COVID first hit and everybody needed masks. I had Bertha and Betsy going like non-stop. I call them the dueling, um, the dueling um, machines because they were literally, they were going non-stop. It, it was nothing for me to crawl in bed at three o'clock and then get back up at five to go to work because I had so many people that needed this stuff. And um, you know, what could I do? I had to get it done. And then when I got my Zelda, I gave one of um, my PE-800s to my oldest daughter. And then the other one, um, I had paid, I think I paid like eight or $900 for it right before COVID. And then I noticed that after COVID hit, you couldn't get one for less than 1500 for the exact same machine. And, uh, but when I sold it, I sold it to a lady for $500 because, you know, it, I didn't feel like it would be right to make a pro. I mean, I had more than already got, if I had, 
not made a dime off of it. I had already got my money's worth out of them. Um, so I felt it was only right to pass my blessing along to someone else because I was very blessed with getting my Zelda. And um, let me tell you, I have enjoyed it. I think my children have enjoyed it more than I have because they always have something they need me to do on it. So yeah, this is just, I enjoy doing this part right here. Um, because to me, this is something that I can do that just, it really doesn't require any thinking. It's just a good way for me to just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's relaxing to me to just sit down and pull images or to harvest the book like this. Oh my goodness, look at this. How many of you cannot wait to get into this and like start making ephemera? Uh, I think we are gonna have to make some before this video is over because it's gonna kill me if I don't. And we wouldn't want that, so I may just have to make some. Oh wow! And I know I'm saying that with every single page. I know, I get it. I am like a little kid in a candy store when it comes to this. Like, I just, I love it. Oh, how gorgeous. You know, it's, we just have to figure out what all do we want to do with them. Oh, another one of those pages. Wow. This is fun, fun, fun. I'm just trying to think of what I want to do right now while I'm doing this. I'm like, okay, what? I know a few pages that I am going to do. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, guys, you know this is my page right here. Um, I've seen a few, though, that I'm definitely going to do, like, envelopes with. I know that. Uh, wow. Um, and then there's some that I've seen that I, I know I want to do, like, large journal tags. Um, and there's a few that we can probably do, like, some little, some little tags. And look at that. Ugh. I don't even see. How cute is that? We have to. Cannot wait to get into it. I love this kind of stuff. Oh my goodness. Guys. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My husband called and it just knocked the video completely off. So, and I didn't even realize it. So, but I'm almost done with this part of it. So, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> okay. So, I've got all of the pages kind of separated. You know, if they were a double page, I just left it as a double page. So, let me see. I know I want to do, I had found a couple that I know that I wanted to do um, envelopes with. Look at those, those are so pretty. So let's see if we can find those pages. I should have pulled them out whenever I seen them and set them to the side. Those will be so pretty as journal cards. So I'm just trying to find the ones that I wanted. See, there's so many images, I want them all. those I, that would be good but I think I would prefer to have those as like um, fussy cuts so this is going to be my dilemma is trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with it because like I said I love it all okay so that's the one I wanted to do for an envelope so this other stuff I'm going to just kind of set out of the way for right now. What 
wonder how many pieces of ephemera we will wind up with from this one book. That'll be fun. Okay, let me grab the slicer, whatever you call that thing. I can't even, I don't know. Cutter cutter, that's what I always call it, so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it there since it's already got that um, fold. I'm not even going to try to fight against it. I'm just gonna cut it right there. All right, so, hmm, I'm wondering. because the trees are going that way. You know what, let's make it a, um, a large coin envelope. That's what we will do. So let's just see, fold it that way. And it is going to be a little wider coin envelope than what I normally would do. But that is okay. I am perfectly fine with that. And then we'll have it folded down this way as well. Okay, so let me get my roller. Where's my eye roller? All right, so let me just smush that down real good and do the same thing here. And so for this, I want to take, those are not the ones I'm wanting, these are. All right, so I wanna take right here and I want to cut just a little angle and then I want to cut right where I folded. And then I need to do the same thing on this side, just cut a little angle and then cut right on that fold. If I could see it, it would be wonderful. But thankfully this will be covered up if I mess it up. Okay, let's make sure everything's gonna fold good. Yep. Okay, and then up here, we need to just cut these pieces right here. And I'm just going to cut straight down right here just like that and then I'm gonna cut over guys I sharpened my scissors and oh my goodness they cut so much better see I cannot see that fold for some reason These cut so much better now that I sharpened them. Should have done that a while back. <laughs> I use the little, uh, what is it, Fiskars? The little sharpener that you get. It's like this thing here. And you just like cut with it. Amazing. Happy, 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 happy. Okay. Let's see if I can round those corners. I don't know if I can, but we're going to attempt it. round enough for me. See if we can do this one the same way. Round enough for me. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and glue it down and then we can figure out if we want to do a punch in it or not. Oh, did y'all see that? Wonderful. Good thing I have a pack of wet wipes right here. I just stuck my fingers right in wet glue. I need to glue it on here because apparently I folded it over more than I realized I did. But that's okay. And I'm just taking my squeegee squeegee. Okay, let me grab a wet wipe and clean my fingers and clean my glue tip. I think I had it laying over whenever I was bringing it in here. And so look at that, 
nasty, 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 nasty. That's why my glue is always in such bad shape because I am so awful when it comes to it. All right, so we got that. Let me, oh, I got glue stuck all to my fingers. Great goodness, guys. All right, look at that. Glue all over my fingers, just that quick. Y'all knew my fingers weren't gonna stay clean for long. Okay, so now let's glue this bottom flap. Squeegee it down. Make sure everything's still good and open in there, and it is. And so now we have that. And this needs a little more glue right here. Now let's see, we probably need to put something on the front of this because it's so, it has so much pattern going on. So I'm thinking, 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 which could be a problem when I start to think, guys. Uh, where's the page I cut off? Cut this off of, there it is. Um, let's see. I'm just looking to see what I want to put. I may end up putting some book page. I'm sure I'm going to put some book page on there. I'm just trying to see if there's something else that I would like to put that's not going to like clash with it. Hmm, that might work. And now that's going to be the other issue is because there's images, beautiful images on both sides. So it will be trying to figure out which side I want to use. So let's see, I'm looking for something that's not, I need it to be more like a neutral color to kind of break that up maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get this where we can see it. I'm thinking I might need to do something not out of this one. Um. Oops. Okay, so this is the box that I harvested. Um, with some of the stuff that I harvested out of the other magazine. So I'm just looking to see. There may be some stuff in here that I want to use. Definitely not that. That's the wrong color. Oh, that's cute. How cute is that? Bakery. See, there's just so many. Yes, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm getting quiet because I'm kind of looking, I'm trying to figure out what I want to use. Because there's so many different so many choices and like I said I did not I didn't even do but just a couple of, um, of the magazine pages because there were so many images so I still have all of the others to cut up oh I love that love that so we may have to do something with those because I like those Okay, let's just see what we've got out already and we'll deal with that. Okay, and I do have some books in here. I am just throwing stuff all over the place. I have a couple of 
a little book that I brought in here that we can see what we want to use. This book is amazing in itself. What year is this book? 1910. All right, so let's take a look here. I like those ladies. But I'm thinking... I really like that. <laughs> it doesn't go with it, but I love it. So cute. Oh. I'm afraid I'm going to take away by using any of these. So I don't know that I'm going to use any of these images. Let's just see. I think what I want to do is a flower, just a very simple flower, and I knew we have some uh, with some book page behind it. I want just a flower, not all of the other stuff. I may then do one of these. Hang on, guys. Let me just let me flip through here real quick and just see because I kind of have an idea now what I want. So I just need to see if I can. I'm seeing the image. I just gotta find where I want where it is. But I want something very simple, and then I will put book page behind it. Okay. So we have this one. I don't think I want either one of those. I wonder how the white one or this one. Or maybe this little pink one right there. I think that's the one. All that trouble for that one little flower. Oh goodness. Okay, let's cut it out. I'm going to attempt to fussy cut it with my... And if you notice, I didn't even turn it over to see what was on the back. Because if I do, then I'm not going to want to use this probably. I'll want to keep both images. And so, I figured it's better to just go ahead and cut it. And not even think about it. that is one of my biggest dilemmas. So, I'm just attempting to fussy cut this, but it's not working so great. But it will be okay. I think that'll be cute. Do I want that? Oh, no, that these pages are the writing is too big. I think I like these. So let's get one of these out. And let's just kind of all right, let's try this again. So that was one of my boys calling because the two boys were fussing to try and figure out, I don't know, they're, they were fussing as to who, when one of them stopped breastfeeding or something. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that my boys argue about. How crazy is that? So, I don't know. They drive me crazy sometimes. All right, so I think I've decided on this. I'm going to ink this book page up just a little bit. And I'll probably put a little ink on this. I don't know that you'll see it too much, but we're still going to put it on there because it'll make me feel better. I 
Ooh, and we need a label. We definitely need a word. And I don't know if I brought my labels in here. Because I was looking through them last night. But if not, that's something that I can come back and put on. Let me see. I may have some down here. We'll look. I, there, you know, there's probably something in... There is something in this um, right here that we can use. I've seen that. I saw it. Ugh, I know I just seen what I wanted. Where was it? It was on this page, the other piece of that page. If I can find that, I'll find what I want. Okay, let's see. I've got to figure out some sort of order to keep these in because this will drive me absolutely crazy. Oh, goodness gracious, a lab. It was um, on the back of that page and it said spring and it was like in a frame. And I figured I could cut the word spring out. But if not, I'm sure we can find, there we go. That's what I want, right there. So let's cut the word spring out. And let's cut the straight or straight ish. Okay, I'm going to try and cut it straight ish so that I can possibly round the corners. We'll see. We got that. That looks halfway straight. We're going to call it straight anyway. All right. Let's round these corners if we can. Just like that. And now let's, do we want to ink it up? Maybe a little bit. And with spring coming up, this would look good in a spring journal. So now this says spring. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. How cute is that? That is from a magazine page. Look at that. Okay, so let's set that to the side. Let's see. We might can do one other thing. Um, let's see. What do we have? Let's see here. There's so much that we can do that I don't know what I want to do. Hmm, that's a difficult decision. See, that's going to be my problem is figuring out what I want to use. So I think I want to use this image here. And I have, let me grab it. I have a crispy rice box that we can use for the back. Okay. So we can cut our image out. 
this one right here that I want to use. So I'm just going to cut it out. And I'll show you how I'm going to do those corners in a minute. Because I am not even going to attempt to cut that. Because we all know exactly how that would turn out. Not good at all. Alright, so let's try and get this bottom halfway straight. Set this to the side. Now, do I want to do these? I'm going to do the corners after I glue it down, I think. I think that might be the best thing. Why is my glue doing this? All right, so now I'm just going to glue this to the back or to this Rice crispy box. Or crispy Rice box. I don't know why I'm putting so much glue, because I'm probably going to sew around it. So I probably should not have put so much glue. Got a glob right there. So yeah, um, grab your cereal boxes or you know anything like that, because um, it's a thinner um, chipboard. Um, it make they make great journal covers, but they also make great tag backings. And it keeps it out of the landfill. So recycle it. Okay. Just making sure I got it glued down good. And we're going to cut my crispy rice box. And I'll show you something else I salvaged too. Let me get this cut out. I was just salvaging all kinds of stuff out of the dump. Well, it wasn't the dump. It was the cardboard boxes in our empty room that we had to recycle. So they were still, it's kind of almost like the dump because that's where they were headed. <laughs> that's where they were well on their way. It just looks like I have the air pockets or something. Oh, from all that glue I put. So, but I salvaged something else that I will use a lot. An awful lot. Okay. So now that I have that cut, to do those corners, I'm just going to take my little, um, hole punch and get it right there like that and then do it off and so I am not having to fight with it and they look good so, now let's ink this up and I may I'm wondering if I should kind of paint the back of it with some gesso. I probably should. Let's do that. Let me put a little bit of, um, not gesso, I'll put some of this paint that I picked up from our local Ace Hardware. Is that a good color or should I go with a darker color? Mm, let's go with pistachio. Or maybe this is the one I can open. Yeah, this is the one I can open. <laughs> so we're not going to go with pistachio. We're going to go with vintage green. Because <laughs> I cannot open it. And I'm just using my finger because I really don't want a lot on there. 
I just mainly want to like um, give it that little green hint and it'll take some of that um, you know straight cardboard look off of it I'm gonna have to clean my desk as you guys know I get it all over the place See, this paint is wonderful. It's um, somebody, I think somebody asked me what kind of paint this is. I had never seen or heard of it before, I have to be honest. It is called Tommy Art. Um, I picked it up at my local Ace um, on Sunday. They were doing a sidewalk sale, and I picked it up there. And I must say, I really, really, really like it. Um, they have a whole line of different um, paints and waxes, um, that kind of stuff. So um, I'm in love with it. All right, well that's gonna take a few minutes to dry. So probably what I'll do is I'll go ahead and end the video here. Um, I will end up putting a word on this um, and I'll show you in another video the other neat thing that I saved. And I may even put a little bit of like the white um, paint on here or something like that, but I'll dress that up a little more. I might even put a little bit on the front but there you know there you have it guys so we salvaged the we went through the pages we got them out we've already made a couple pieces of ephemera and super fun super easy so get you a magazine get you a nice book and go ahead and start doing it um see what all you can create let's see you know it's gonna be fun and make sure you post your photos in the facebook group so we can all see it and enjoy it so talk to you later guys bye